All right, so here we finally are. Um, this YouTube is a few days late, which is not what I'm proud of, but we're gonna make this work and we're gonna finally get this out there. I am going to be putting together a podcast as to why I am a few days late on this YouTube video. A lot of things have been going down in my personal life and I have debated so many times about whether or not I should show up for this video this week, but I know that I need to and yeah, more on that in my podcast. I'll link it below, but I don't want to go into all those details right now because I'm just not ready <laughs> um, to talk about all that. So to keep things very light and easy, I'm just going to be... Um, kind of showing you my office space slash workout room that I have and how I set it up, why I've set it up this way, and kind of my, I don't know, intentions for how I design my space. Um, I'm someone who is very picky <laughs> about my space. I very much depend on my space to get me motivated and keep me happy and positive, which is a good thing because I love designing, but it's also a very bad thing because when I, my space is not how I want it, my life is not the greatest. But anyways, I wanted to go over a couple of things. I do kind of use techniques of like feng shui. I'm not trained in or, or anything, but I do try to use those principles just to kind of help with the energy of my space, I guess you could say. Um, so let's start this out. So entering the room is not my favorite right now because I do have a puppy and I don't want him to get into the plants over here. So I do have this gate. Um, when that's moved though, I do have those beads that drape down over the door just to kind of give it a little bit of privacy. I really noticed that like creating different spaces and separating them helps me a lot more mentally. So this side of the room is the workout room. I honestly do not love having my workout room and office in the same room, but we have a small house. So we're gonna deal with what we have. I like to keep my yoga space right here. Everything that I design my place with, I try to have it like serve some kind of purpose. I don't love decor. Like I don't love a lot of decor. I love stuff that's functional, that has a purpose and is minimal. <laughs> so with that, all these spaces over here, I like to have decor baskets just because they look better, but I do um, use them as a way to store like all of my workout stuff. So I have like my little ankle weights, um, a jump rope, like a foot massager. Um, I keep all of that in there. Of course, all of my bands. Um, I like to just to keep it separate and kind of hidden so you can't really see what's going on. Obviously, I have one too many mats, so we need to fix that. But anyways, um, over here, of course, I have my yoga blocks, which my dog has gotten to. Um, again, a basket. It serves as a function because it holds off my blankets. I love having plants in the room because they bring a lot of life, like energy into the room. Um, I never used to have plants until a couple years ago and I just, it's nice to have something to take care of. It is annoying when you're away because they do die and suffer, but um, again, I think they're a good way to add decor with it, serving a purpose as well. And they're really good for um, purifying your air and all of that. This one <laughs> is a hard one. He requires a lot of water and he is my second one of him because I murdered the first one by accident. So anyways. Also, the mirror that I am avoiding <laughs> showing myself in because I got this mirror from Home Goods, and I love it because it's gold. I think it's pretty, but like I cannot for the life of me, figure out a cleaner that does not leave a streak on this mirror. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it's a cheaper mirror and that's the issue or if it's just because I'm retarded and cannot find a cleaner that actually works. So if you have any tips for what would help this disaster, 
please let me know. Like, honestly, like I cleaned it and I can do this with my hand and it looks better. Like, don't know what to do with that. Work in progress. So I will not be talking to you in the mirror because it's so annoying. But anyways, over here, I do have this bench. Mostly it's here. I don't love it in this space, but it's mostly here because I don't have anywhere else to put it, to be honest. Um, again, I like baskets because they're functional and they hold um, a lot of storage. I put my weights in there just because it's more aesthetically pleasing <laughs> um, and I don't have to look at them all the time. Over here, I have this desk. Again, functional, holds a lot of my stuff. I try to keep as much as I can inside of the desk. I don't like a lot of clutter. I hate having stuff all over my counters and desks, but that's kind of what we have to work with right now. I loved this here because another thing that I, I pay a lot of attention when I do have plants is to make sure that there's no dead leaves. I think it's like a feng shui thing. Like obviously leaves that are not thriving are not good for your space because it also relates to your life not thriving. So I try to keep my plants as alive <laughs> as possible and whenever I notice there's something that's dead like even this one because it's so bloody hard to keep this one alive like a lot of the tips have gone brown and I've cut them which is not ideal but I don't like to see dead leaves because it doesn't bring life so I cut them I trim them um, just so they look more alive and like they're doing well because I feel like a thriving plant <laughs> is a thriving life so that's just my weird metaphor um, again I like to use books for decor because I can use them they serve a purpose um, I like to read books so for all the ones that I have up here I try to keep matching the color palette that I have in the room so a lot of these are white um, I do have a I have a lot of books, but these ones have a lot of color, so I don't love that. Um, so I have hidden those and then put the ones that match the aesthetic of the room out. And this piece is probably the only piece I have in the room that doesn't really serve a purpose. So that's pretty. I love crystals because they bring a lot of energy into the space and they, again, have a meaning behind them. So I like decorating with crystals because I think that they really help with the energy of the room. Um, sage I use as a decor as well just because obviously if you know what sage is, you know what you do with it. It's to cleanse your space. Candles I love to use as decor because you can use them. You can light them. They help enhance the smell of the room. This little guy is, honestly, I got him as a joke because I thought he was hilarious. And secondly, in feng shui, they encourage you to have like gold accents in your room because gold is a very like abundant color. So they do um, say that if you have like gold items in your house, it will make you feel a little bit more abundant. And of course on my Instagram and everything that I teach. I teach a lot on abundance and that type of energy. So I do try to have some golden accents um, like the yoga dog and the mirror is also a gold accent to help with that. Um, this one, obviously it's the printer. I can't do much about that so that's just there. My pictures on the wall, I also like to use as like inspiration. I don't like to have a lot of like decor that I don't care about. Um, these pictures are all pictures of Greece and the reason that I've chosen these ones is because one, the color palette matches the room, two, I like the images, three, Greece has been on my list of somewhere that I have wanted to go for a very long time now. So I like to use these kind of pieces. It's really hard to see this one with the glare, but I like to use pieces that like give me a goal of where I want to go um, so that they also serve a purpose. I don't like just having artwork or something that like doesn't have a lot of meaning behind it. I like these photos because 
I know I want to go to Greece. It motivates me to get there. And I also love the color palette of Greece because it is clean and white and it matches the room. Over in this corner is obviously my workspace. I picked out a chair that's really comfy because if I'm not comfortable with where I'm working, then that's an issue. And I do have a desk facing the door. So a big part of feng shui um, that they teach with when it comes to decorating an office space is to not put your desk up against the wall and to put it so it's facing the door. This is the only setup that I could have in this room right here. I don't love it right here. I used to have it in the center um, facing the wall when this was just my office space and I loved that a lot more. And when I worked a nine to five job, I had a desk that one, it was up against the wall. Um, it was right next to the doorway. So everyone was always coming in and out of that room and walking behind me the entire time. And they could always see everything that I was doing all times throughout the day. And it made me feel so uncomfortable. I felt so vulnerable. I felt like I had no privacy and it was just really uncomfortable. So for me, I know that I need a little nook where I can have my privacy and where I can feel safe to whomever may be entering the door. So that helps me. Um, this helps me a lot more creatively because when I notice when I have my desk facing the wall, I don't get as much accomplished. I feel like my mind is blocked a lot more because the saying that they have of hitting the wall, like when you're done with the work day and you're just exhausted, that's the literal feeling that I have sitting in my desk with it facing the wall. I just feel stuck and like I can't get things done. Yeah, it just gives you the feeling of being more in control. Um, you can see what's going on, you can see who's entering the space and you're not as vulnerable. So that's why I like doing it that way. Again, don't love how it's laid out in this room, but I don't have space to do it any other way. And of course, my dream board, vision board, whatever you want to call it, I like to keep it next to my workspace because I can see it easily. And when I can see that more often, I'm a lot more focused on getting all of those things accomplished. So that's why that's there. And of course, to break up the space between the workout and the office, um, I do have this rug. I like to create different textures because it helps identify different spaces. The softer texture of the rug is a lot more comfortable um, and just kind of gives this side of the room its own space. And of course, the hardwood floor for working out and yoga. And yeah, so that is my office. And again, with the terrible mirror, we're not gonna show that anymore. But that's what I like to do in my space. I try to incorporate feng shui just to kind of help with the flow of the room. And then I definitely try to minimize the decor that I have and try to focus on everything serving a purpose that's around me because when I have a clear space, I have more of a clear mind. So that's why I like to be very intentional with my surroundings and what I do. So with that, finally getting this YouTube video up. And if you want more of these videos, please like and subscribe because it helps me a lot to know what you guys want in the future. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.